guys welcome back to decode puzzle I hope you all are doing well today's video is gonna be about the complete guide to floating TV units so let's get right into the video are you trying to get the ideal floating TV stand for your house choosing which one will work best in your environment can be challenging but don't worry we have got you covered the optimum location for your entertainment unit what to place inside it, what color scheme will complement your decor, and how to make your floating TV units feel like they belong in your house are all covered in this video. Maybe you just moved into a new house or maybe you just want to update your surroundings. Regardless of the motivation, we promise that this guide will assist you in selecting the ideal entertainment unit for your room. Think about where you want your entertainment system to be. It's crucial to think about where you will put the entertainment unit before you start looking at options for your home. Traditionally, a floating TV unit is housed on top of an entertainment unit in the living room. Today, however, your entertainment unit can be positioned in a variety of rooms throughout the house, including a playroom, bedroom, or home entertainment room. Floating TV units can be housed in your entertainment unit but there are many more methods to create it that don't include a television. For instance, you may decorate the entertainment unit in the living room with little vases filled with fresh flowers rather than floating TV sets on top of it. Or perhaps you would want to use the base of your new entertainment unit to build a centerpiece for your family photos. Another choice is to keep your entertainment unit simple, utilizing it only for storage rather than stacking anything on top of it. You may put a sizable piece of art above the entertainment unit to draw attention to it. Of course, you could always style your floating TV units with your household items and attach your television to the wall in the area above them, if you like to take a more conventional approach with a modern twist. Alternatively, if you're going to put it in the kids' playroom, why not use it to store toys and mount the TV above out of the way of curious hands? Take the size of the room into consideration. Additionally, you should make sure that the entertainment unit size corresponds to the size of the room. A larger unit can be the best option, for instance if you're decorating a huge space and want the entertainment center to be the focal point. However, if you're adding the unit to an area that is already rather busy, you might want to go with a more straightforward design that is smaller in size so it doesn't appear to be taking up too much space. Make sure you buy the appropriate floating TV units in accordance with the fact that this sort of unit will likely be in the background rather than the foreground. Consider the design of your space as well. Do you intend to rearrange the furniture to make the entertainment unit fit? If so, do you have any restrictions on the height or depth of the space where the device will be installed? When ordering your entertainment system, bear this in mind. It's time to measure the space once you have selected where in the house you want to put the entertainment unit. Measure each required dimension, including height, breadth, and length, taking your time. This will guarantee that the entertainment unit you order has the appropriate dimensions for your space. One more thing about design and size. Keep in mind that a large television mounted on a smaller entertainment unit might occasionally appear a bit out of place. As such, take into account how your television size compares to the size of the entertainment floating TV units you would want to acquire. What must your TV stand contain? Now that you have chosen the location in your home where your entertainment center will go, it's time to think about what you want the floating TV units to hold. For instance, you should probably put entertainment related equipment inside the entertainment unit if it will be placed in the home theater room. Make sure your new entertainment unit can accommodate a sound bar if you have one, which is an all-in-one speaker configuration for delivering surround sound and is used with floating TV sets. If you or your kids enjoy playing video games frequently, you will probably want to be able to set up your gaming consoles whenever you can readily access them. Make careful to measure all the equipment you want your unit to contain to ensure it will accommodate it all. Playstations and other entertainment equipment can sometimes harm the design aesthetic if they are left out on top of the entertainment unit. 
However, some people like constant visibility of the contents of their entertainment units for convenience and as part of the furniture's design. If this describes you, you might want to get an open unit that has no drawers or doors. This design will work well in a modern minimalist home because the entertainment unit's lack of doors complements open concept living. However, if you're the type of person who likes to hide their clutter, then perhaps an entertainment center with a door that can be closed is more ideal. Closed drawers can be used to store stuff like DVDs and remote controls and are a terrific way to add extra storage space. Although floating TV cabinets are constructed to carry the majority of ordinary TVs and accessories, they do not have any specified weight restrictions. Consider having your large TV, which likely weighs a lot, professionally mounted on the wall. This will relieve pressure on the home entertainment system and be safer because it won't tumble over and crush anyone thanks to a solid mount. You should think about if you want to mount your television unit to the wall while you're at it. If you have young children or infants in your home, you must do this since they may climb up on the unit and drag it over, which is something you never want to happen. When selecting furniture for your home, it's critical to keep safety considerations in mind. Are you attempting to match a specific style or color scheme? It's time to think about the style and color of the TV unit once you have determined where to place your floating TV units and what you intend for them to contain. The low-lying kind of entertainment unit is quite popular right now since it's fashionable, makes a statement, and makes it simple to conceal unsightly cores. Due to their simplicity and low profile, these floating TV units are ideal for tiny rooms because they don't overcrowd the space. White is the color to choose for your entertainment unit if you want a more traditional appearance. Maintain a clean, straightforward design so that the ornamental home accents you select to use to decorate your apartment will stand out. Whether it's your living room or your bedroom, white is a bright color that works well in bringing light into any area. Consider the amount of natural light that enters the place you are outfitting. If the space is dark, it might be advisable to stay with lighter colors to lighten the space. However, if you are working with a light-filled area, you might feel the need to anchor the space with some darker wood tones. To add another static element to your entertainment unit, you may also combine white and wood. Dark wood, for instance, might give your area a retro vibe, whilst a lighter wood tone with white is more in keeping with classic design. Your floating TV unit's wood accents provide some texture and personality to the room. And if you adore the wood look, you might want to think about getting an entertainment center constructed entirely of wood. A wooden entertainment cabinet pays respect to the past while looking contemporary and evoking the heyday of the 1950s and 1970s. Wood may add warmth to the room and this style is frequently timeless. You might want to think about the legs of the entertainment unit in addition to the body when deciding on the design. If the industrial aesthetic appeals to you more, you might select for the legs of your unit to have a black powder coated frame. If you like a more modern appearance, choose legs that slant out to the sides to give the piece a more current appearance. If you lean more toward tradition, perhaps square legs would look better in your home. Whatever your preference, keep in mind that people will be able to see the legs of your floating TV units more clearly once they are seated in front of them on the couch, so it's crucial that they go in with the overall style of your house. To ensure that your new television unit melts flawlessly with the interior design pieces you currently have, keep in mind the style and color scheme of your complete house. Always remember to personalize your entertainment center. It's crucial to decorate your entertainment unit in a way that reflects the personality of you and your family, just like you should with any other aspect of your house. Why not put some vibrant prints over your entertainment unit if you enjoy quirky design? Or if your family loves reading, why can't decorate the unit by stacking periodicals and books on top of it and setting them between some unique bookends? 
Consider buying some indoor plants to display on your new entertainment unit if you have a green thumb. Or if you frequently visit far off locales, why not think about bringing home some fresh mementos to display on your floating TV units. The most important thing is that you feel comfortable in the area, even if you do wish to keep up with design trends. This entails making sure it highlights everything you cherish most and is designed in a way to reflect this. Select additional pieces of furniture to go with your entertainment center. Why not think about buying additional furniture to match your floating TV sets if you're planning to update the overall design of a room in your house or possibly your entire home? Perhaps a coffee table or console table would complement your entertainment unit in your living room. Or if you want to buy the unit to put it in your bedroom, why not consider matching bedside tables or a new tall boy to go with it? Or if you're decorating your kid's playroom, why not think about buying some preschool furniture to go with the entertainment unit? Summary Finding the ideal entertainment center for your house is time well spent. Look into various trends and colors and think about how they will fit in your environment. Think about the entertainment unit's intended usage as well as its intended location. The most important thing is to pick an entertainment unit that adds something fresh to your room, whether it be a statement piece or just a place for a brand new floating TV unit. Just keep in mind that the correct entertainment unit can serve as a focal point in your room while also detracting from the unattractive blackness of a TV. No one does game time like you, as everyone knows. Every kind of dip, barbecue and appetizer is being prepared by your slow cooker and instant bot, which are both working non-stop. Everyone can fit comfortably in your living room, including wacky Uncle Carl, and your coffee table is perfectly positioned so that the visitors can grab a nacho while keeping their eyes on the television. Even your brand new flat screen TV is broader than the one you previously had by about 4 inches. Everything appears to be covered. What possibly could go wrong? When you finally settle down and turn on your new television, you will discover that your floating TV units are far too low, your neck starts to hurt, the company gets grumpy, and you miss a big play. Stop allowing this to happen to you. Make sure your TV stand fits your living rooms or whatever rooms set up before the game starts. The width of your floating TV sets should be measured first. A television that is twice as big as its stand is the worst looking item ever. Make sure your stand's width is at least 2 inches greater than the width of your TV as a general guideline. Additionally, your TV stand will probably provide the optimal television width dimension. This will require teamwork, so find a friend and put them down on any available furniture in your home, the distance between the floor and their eyes, put it in writing. Your television center should land at that elevation. Next, gauge the height of your television, including its space, to determine its midpoint. Divide that by 2. From the whole distance from the floor to your assistant's eyes, deduct that amount. Your floating TV units will now at the perfect height thanks to this. After taking care of the logistics, there is one more thing to think about. Style. Your television stand can still wreck your life if it's an eyesore for the rest of the year, even if it's the ideal height and game time viewing is a success. Thankfully, these stands are now available in a variety of hues, materials and styles, some even have stylish fireplaces. Media and TV stands Many of us spend our days, nights, and social events glued to a device. Multimedia floating TV devices have advanced much since the days of the Atari piled on top of a VCR with some sound boosting. Whether it be for watching sports on television, streaming movies, or playing video games on a console device. It's time to acknowledge this development and their permanent place in our house, as well as to offer the supporting cast the credit and recognition they rightfully merit. Frequent asked questions about TV and media stand. The ideal method to raise your electric fireplace to its lofty perch so you can cuddle up together in the light of your favorite television shows 
video games or streaming services is with a TV or media stand. These floating TV units are modern, portable, and conveniently sized for corners. With our selection of TV units in natural oak, grey, and white, it can be both a functional and aesthetically pleasing pleasure. Before you purchase, quickly listen to the following frequent asked question to be sure you have all your questions answered. How big of a TV can I put on top of a media or TV unit? Most can support between 50 and 70 kg. Anything heavier could compromise the stand's structure integrity. We advise leaving 6 to 7 inches space on either side of the media stand for your TV's width to avoid pumping it as you pass. Do my consoles have enough airflow in the TV stands? The console system can be stored in the majority of our floating TV units hollow spaces. This prevents overheating and makes cables easily accessible in case you need to replace them. However, please refrain from cramming books, video game cases, or DVDs next to them since you need to maintain the ventilation open and unobstructed. Are there wire access spots on the media stands? They do in various situations. The back of the open shelf frequently has a hole where media boxes and gaming consoles are meant to fit. How can I prevent a large TV stand from damaging my floor? Of course, the first approach would be to make an effort not to go above the maximum weight restrictions listed in the product specs. If not, you could wish to put a mat or leg protectors under the floating TV units to lessen their impact on wooden floors. Options for TV stands and entertainment centers are numerous. There are several options available. From a straightforward solid wood TV stand to a wall unit centerpiece with plenty of storage to match your needs. There are floating TV units or entertainment centers with the ideal storage and display configuration for a small apartment living room, a bedroom, or a sizable family room to serve you. A mismatch is one thing you don't want. It won't work to place a small floating TV unit in a large living room or an entertainment center with a hot tub in a small room. Examine the space you have and carefully measure it. Then take into account the TV stand or entertainment center's height, width, and depth. Establish the primary functions of your new floating entertainment center or TV units. Will it house movies and music or video games? Do you need a certain number of containers for electronics? Are you trying to define the room's decor with a statement piece? Are you seeking for a variety of storage and display space? Or are you just looking for a spot to sit your television?